Welcome to Thought Song. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett Party Boy Hanrahan. Come on over. We got balloons. We got de- we got like confetti. It's really happening, y'all. It's a really good party we're having over here. Bowling for soup. It, it's it's a game we're having. It's it's bowling for soup. They're here. They're what here. Mean, it's a game. They're a band. The yeah. best band. Well, it's a game. Oh. It's it's a little game I have in the corner of my room where you there's just a bowl of soup, and you just like bob for apples. No, it's like a bowling soup. lane, and you have to bowl. And if you get like a strike, then you are rewarded with, with soup. soup. It, either one of those. I have a bowling lane and a room in what my Brett, house. What, what my friend, my good dear best friend Brett here is trying to say is we're we're uh live opening for bowling for soup at their concert yes hello we've been saying all this to the audience hello <laughs> Den- Tim. this is a pity clap we're not we love Den- you put it's not city Den- name here <laughs> sam you remember what city it is uh also Arlington. sam what's your name oh yeah um i'm sam the peanut butter shoveler, Risley. Oh. The peanut butter shoveler. Is this like your new occupation? That was what we. That no, was his nickname in high school. It's because I um, am currently starving because, like I mentioned before, I forgot to cook some dinner before the podcast. Yeah. Oh, and, so you're shoveling uh, peanut butter into the into only your... thing. Yeah, the only thing we currently have at the apartment that doesn't require preparation is peanut butter, and I've spent the good part You mean of... in the stadium that we're at at the moment, <laughs> yeah. because we're opening for Bowling for Soup <laughs> currently. <laughs> and uh, so I've been, this entire time, the audience has been watching me show like, spoonfuls of peanut butter into my mouth with nothing else. Yeah, Sam, you don't need to describe to us what you're doing, because since you're right there. You're sitting right so with us. I'm telling our audience who can't see us right now. Uh, all the way yeah. up in the we top these, of the stands. We have I these see. thousands of people who can see us. <laughs> these thousands of people disgusted by my bad peanut butter habits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of just... I should say, it is my peanut butter. It belongs to me and none of my roommates or anyone else. So I can do what I want with it, including shoveling spoonfuls of peanut butter directly from my mouth. I mean, it into is. my mouth. It is grotesque, and it is beautiful, the way he does it. Sam, it's a little bit of a stoner snack, but have you ever, like, mixed goldfish with Reese's peanut butter? Because it's good as fuck. I know it doesn't sound like it. I sure didn't think it would be, but it was very incredible. It's such a, like, specific combination. It has to be, it has to be goldfish. And it has to be Reese's peanut butter. Well, it could just be regular peanut butter. I haven't tried it. The one I tried it with was Reese's, and that's no, what Reese's I stand but- peanut butter I'm is sure specific because, like, in the Reese's peanut butter cups, it's kind of like crumbly, and that's what makes it so good. But I will counter by saying I've never actually bought a singular jar of just Reese's peanut butter. I kind of like my Reese's peanut butter to be inside of a Reese's chocolate thing. Well, get a tub that way you can mix it with goldfish. Well, I currently got to figure uh, finish this uh, giant jiff. Extra crunchy peanut butter because crunchy. Crunchy. Is life. Oh crunchy. no, oh. Sam. We'll come back to that. But oh. for now, why don't we introduce the person with all the great pot food tips? Oh yeah, that's me, Cyan crunchy Literal is the best Hot Topic me. employee Haskins. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You heard me over Sam's talking about peanut butter, <laughs> but I am a Hot Topic employee, and I do stand by that smooth peanut, peanut butter, butter is the only peanut butter. I can't help it. Sam, we know you are. We know you're. Just, just calm down. Just eat your nasty, crunchy peanut butter. What's the point? It's good. It's, it's real good. It's okay. really not. It's really bad for podcasting. <laughs> yeah, it's real bad like, for podcasting. Yeah, for like hearing people's voice. That's oh. cool. Oh no. So, sign. Would you say how much? How much more emo are you now that you have been enlisted to the Hot Topic Crusade? I don't know if that makes me like less emo now. That is 2018. Oh, yeah, like I don't know bit. if that's actually taking away from like my street cred as uh, a former and current emo kid. Because 
one of these days you're gonna have to give someone 21 pilots merch one day i am gonna have to like sell it to somebody i think i'm gonna oh, no. stand by my opinion though i think if someone asked me my opinion 21 pilots even if i'm on the clock i'm going to be honest and say they're nah. a great band they're a great performer they have great music I'll say it once and I'll say it a thousand times. If someone asks me, I'll look at them and I go, eh. <laughs> I feel like that's, I don't know. With my fists in the air and power raging through my veins. My vein, vein, veins. Welcome back to Thought Sauna. <laughs> 21 Pilots tried to shut down our podcast? <laughs> it's more likely than you think. Sorry to all the fans for, of Bowling for Soup that are here watching this live who... Had yeah, to deal with had to 21 pilots. Stop recording as 21 pilots appeared from thin they air. They fell from the sky. And proceeded yeah. to beat up our recording equipment. Created a <laughs> crater. And shot lasers at us. And destroyed our microphones. It A lot yeah, happened. They, it was, but we're all yeah, okay it now. crazy. But you know what? The media is not going to cover it because they're the, under the control of 21 pilots and their mind-controlling schemes. There's a dog outside. <laughs> <laughs> and with yeah, that it's a concert in a park cyan yeah, of course they'll be we're dogs. literally at a baseball park people bring yeah. dogs to baseball <laughs> at the bowling for soup show yeah they have their dogs yeah. here anyway we don't want to keep the fans waiting we know bowling for soup want neat like it's a strict 30 minute schedule remember like, how it, we said like no more intros longer than three minutes and now it's yeah. been seven minutes <laughs> almost and we're just like the dog's closer to us Okay, let's get on to our first segment. Who wants to go? Let's go. Wait, uh, wait, let's let the fans decide. No one. Oh. Bowling for soup. Okay. All right. So we're just no. gonna do. Okay. I. We've been waiting for hours. Okay. What about what about sign? Do you want to go are first? You? It's real warm here in the Texas sun. <laughs> We've never heard of thought sauna. Okay. All that's right. a fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, I haven't heard of it either. Guess what? You're stuck here for thirty more minutes. It. All right. So let's just all deal with this together. Okay. We all have to cope with it's our podcast together. It's not fun for us. Together. It's not fun for you. Literally, no one is benefiting from this. No one's happy about this yeah. podcast. All right? Not even us. So our, I got a law from Florida yes. today. We've gone way off topic from this podcast. I very much enjoy recording with my two best friends. Aww. That was for the fans. That was for a Grammy. Yeah, that was so that we could have we could win the three oh, friend no. award at the podcast. What did I do? Grammys. Well, the, the law, please. The, the bigger please. question is, what didn't you do? Because here's what one person did to make this law happen in Florida: if an elephant is left tied to a parking meter, the parking ha- fee has to be paid, just as it would for a vehicle. Hmm. See. They got they got their so, stuff straight over there. Yeah, if an the circus showed up and didn't pay the fucking parking meter. Yeah, ele- yeah, it doesn't and matter. So Elephants are vehicles. Elephant got towed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They it was really tough. Well, actually, the elephant was cool with it. I can imagine the court, and he's like, "Judge, it's not a car. You can't drive it." And he's like, "I don't care." Like. Listen, it was an elephant, and you you re- literally tied him to the parking. It was literally to tied meter. to the parking meter. You so, were asking for if it. You were in the space. In fact, you were in three other spaces because elephants are big. Yeah, you, uh, uh, two cars were crushed when you parked your elephant. We are the three judges of this court case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we rain down upon the most. Yeah. Insane Welcome. cases. <laughs> Welcome, traveler, to the court of the three judges. Step forward and be deemed you worthy or nay. We are the only courthouse that would accept this case. Eh, uh, guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not very good at what we do. No. Little did the, our viewers know we are actually justices of the law. Specifically, we are the law. Any lawyer who seeks to get their law degree must pass trials provided by us at the beginning of creation. Us, the three, worthy or nay. (laughs) It will be decided. By us. And so... The three judges. This this elephant didn't do anything wrong. Judge dude. No, it was definitely the the person's fault. It's not the elephant's fault. And therefore, the elephant itself should not be ticketed. 
The circus owner, however, should be, for multiple violations of A, probably animal cruelty, because let's face it, circus, and also just bad, because let's face it, circus. Well, why did you assume that the elephant belonged to a circus owner when it could just belong to the person who lives in one of the apartments downtown? Okay, so then they've got the problem of they're having an exotic animal, probably without a license, because let's face it, Florida. Well, they... Look, they can't... They're exotic, sure, but when you house train them, they become domestic. Okay? Yeah. How... No, that's not how it the works. The elephant exotic. has a litter box. The elephant... The elephant has a dedicated space it pisses on. The elephant's valid. The elephant is valid, ele- Sam. And you know what? The, the elephant, elephant being at the parking meter piss- wasn't even the issue. Spot. The elephant being at the parking the, the, meter was not the, even the, the issue. The, the issue was it wasn't paid. Spot called my neighbor's car. I feel like we're on like a talk show and we're <laughs> I was arguing. About to say that. <laughs> like, are we on some like Fox News political show or something? Jesus no, I, I like I like the vibe that we're setting up here. That we're like no, arguing just, all the time no, about everything. The, uh, the elephant is an exotic pet. House trading an exotic pet does not negate its exotic petness. No, as soon as the elephant, as soon as one elephant becomes domesticated, suddenly elephants are home animals. Everyone has one. Yeah, we every you classroom in America and I has a you pet. Said homophobic animals, and I was like, <laughs> "Whoa!" Since when were elephants so problematic? No, elephants are not problematic. Elephants seem like great dudes. Yeah, elephants grow at the times. They're fucking like, yeah, I get you. They're just they're they just... do, but the people who like take them from their homeland against their will are not cool. Who said this elephant wasn't from Florida? The elephant moved to Florida for a better life, Sam. Why are you assuming all these when, things? The elephant retired in Is Florida. Is it getting a better life when it's being towed for being parked improperly? It. No one ever said it got towed. You were the one that said that in this court trial. We've gotten no evidence or anything about the situation. We're making it up. <laughs> As we always do in every court trial that we have. We are the judges. We determine. And one of the judges says, this is, like, what's going on. And so it must be considered at least one-third true. Well, the other two judges think the elephant retired and moved for a, for a chill life as an Uber driver. It, it of course, being the vehicle. Yes, yeah. Then, ex- then it's exempt from this law. Exactly. So- because the ele- <laughs> if the elephant itself parked itself there, what's it going to do? It can't pay. It doesn't um, have a place to keep a wallet. It works for Uber. It has a bank yeah. account. It needs a cell phone. You are dehumanizing <laughs> elephants. You are taking away the fact that they have phones just like the rest of us. Elephants are living in this phone? modern age. It doesn't have pants. You, you don't, don't know, know that. that. You, don't you don't know that, Sam. You don't know that they don't have pants. <laughs> you don't How know. How do you get the money for these pants? Did you Uber. Uber. <laughs> How do you get the Uber if it can't have a phone without pants to carry the phone? It just says it loud, okay? Why is this the most, like, heated we've ever gotten on an episode about, like, this elephant being towed from a parking spot because someone didn't pay a fucking parking meter? Because this is very important. The words we make are very important to who we are. Fuck. And in this world where the elephant is retired and is an Uber and has pants, is the world I... That's the world I want to live in. I'm sorry I'm fucking with my mic, because everything's fucked right now. Alright. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Alright. Oh, I'm no. Like imagining, this episode just... I'm imagining a fucking elephant, and it's got pants on, like, little, like, slacks. And it's got its phone, and it's, like, trunk, and it's like, Oh, man, that Uber's pretty far. I don't know if I want to take it. No, it's Sam. The and elephant got, like, is re- the Uber. <laughs> Right, I know. You don't understand. The elephant pulls oh, up. Oh, no, wait. He was saying, like, yeah. people asking for I don't Uber. know if I... Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. No, yeah, he's... <laughs> and he's got, a, he's got a tie on, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got to look busy. Does he have a shirt? Is that too much? No, he definitely has... Yes, shirt's he has too a much. shirt. Okay. The collar wouldn't work. He shopped at the Elephant Gap. <laughs> yeah. Like... I think that was the most heated we've ever gotten... Oh, that's podcast. what Bowling for Soup no, brings out in us. Nothing was yeah. cooler than Brett and I both yelling Uber. <laughs> Why couldn't we break out that fer- ferocity when 21 Pilots tried to destroy us? Because they're all, like one of the coolest bands of, of our modern age. You shut your mouth. And they're the voice oh. of a generation, Sam. Well, not all three of us can be right 
at one all at the same time. So one of us has to be wrong. Cyan, as one of as one of the three judges, do you concur with me that Judge Brett is wrong in this notion? When it comes to one of my pilots, I think Brett's always going to be wrong. <laughs> Judge right. Sam. Okay. Thank you. Let's decide. Court, the, the ruling passes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, should this should this law stay? Is it worthy or is it nay? I think the law should be eradicated for elephants who are Uber drivers are not parking at the parking space. Elephant rights. Elephant, elephant rights. rights. Elephant rights. Elephant rights. Elephant rights. Why isn't Tell anyone else chanting nights. along? Tell the dig night. Yeah. Wait, what? Can we do like an yeah. actual riot? Can we do the my brother, my brother, and me thing where we like do a parade? Can we have an elephant rights parade in Austin, yeah. Texas? If yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> hmm. We would get very arrested if we did that in Austin. I don't yeah. think so. We'd have to go to Denton. I think it'd be fine. It'd be fine. If we did what? If we we went to Zilker and we carried around elephant rights flags. Yeah. And we just yelled. We would get arrested. It'd be fine. For sure. Chill out, Sam. Come on. I'll just say, if as long as we have a camera with us, we can just say it's for like our YouTube channel, and be half like, okay. half of Austin is like that fake woke where they are like, <laughs> yeah, we really want equal treatment and all that stuff, but then as soon as like <clears throat> someone brings out a sign and starts chanting something, they don't care what, they want them gone. Mm. That is that is the two sided, two faced Austin. I don't care. I'm still gonna fight for elephants. Yeah, I don't. I don't care what the public has to say. About elephants that. have the rights to be Uber drivers and have the right to be on the road. They're able to go 80 miles on the highway just like every other car. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna look up how fast elephants can run now. We don't have time for that, Sam. Let's get on to our next subject. <laughs> okay. This. I, I'll go ahead. I'll go next. Sam, you have a special. Elephants can run 15 miles per hour. All right. Thank you. Not these elephants. What, what, what were you saying? It's 2018, Sam. That fact is from a decade ago. Okay. So they got souped up elephants now. This. What were you gonna tell me, Brett? This is a thought. This is a thought. Okay. And let's do it. This is from okay. Shitty Renaissance on Reddit. <laughs> Hi, Shitty Renaissance. Okay. Shitty underscore Renaissance. He says, or they say. They should make an X-Men movie about a bunch of people with completely pointless and useless mutations who have to save the world while the other X-Men are occupied. Are they like common mutations? The <laughs> like one dude is just someone with blue eyes and they're like, well, technically it's a mutation. I can't do anything. I, I, I'm just a normal dude. I just have blue eyes. A lot of people do. It's, it's Everyone in my family does. It's very easy. So what, about, what, what about, what about, like, <clears throat> what about? Hear me out. Okay. What about? Yes. What about? What about? Say it. A guy. Yeah. Who every so often when he shits. All right. Enough. Instead instead of poop. Enough. <laughs> instead of poop, it's a missile. Nay. <laughs> I've deemed this nay. <laughs> what is he? Like, he's just going to like point it at... To, does it still come at like the same consistency as poop does? Like it only like you can only no, no. do it twice a day? No, it's a full blown missile. Okay. And he never really knows like when it is. It's like a ten percent chance of happening. So oh my god. I know So like sometimes he'll go use the bathroom and be like, ah, thank God nothing bad happened. Other times he'll wind up like blowing up the bathroom. So and Sam. luckily it, the Professor X's school for the gifted, like, has plenty of money to replace that. I know what you were imagining when you said it. I knew exactly what my brain did was wrong. I knew you imagined that this guy would bend over, point his ass at the bad guy, and fire a fucking missile. But I like the idea that it comes out at the same speed, and it just kind of falls out, and then once it's on the ground, it's on the ground, and that's it. <laughs> like he lays an egg! It just comes out. Like, and you gotta, like, throw it at the enemy or yeah, something. Yeah, and then he has to pick it up and, like, the then, straight like... straight up just lays an egg, but instead of an egg, it's a missile. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was picturing. I didn't think it would fire out. I thought it would just kind of, like, come out. <laughs> I like that even more, honestly. Also, Sam, I like you said Xavier's, like, school for, like, gifted yep. children... Let me say that is not the school that these people are from. These people are just from like Javier's school of, I mean, okay people. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. kind of weirdos. Okay, but, 
I like Cyan going off of yours. I like the whole like thought that maybe like <clears throat> if he hasn't been if he hasn't been keeping up with his fiber, <laughs> he has to really strain himself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I did. I didn't want to say it, but I did think about like sometimes the missile would like come out in like two pieces, and you'd like get half of it out and be like. <laughs> And you sit there for like ten minutes, and the second half won't come out, and you'd be like, "Well, fuck it, I, I have to go to work still." Like, so you have to go and like have your day, and then you come home, and you're like, "Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." He'll be he'll be in the bathroom at work, and just like shit, and his coworkers will heal hear a loud clanging sound as the fucking missile is, it, is it an active missile or is it just a not working missile it's a not working it's missile it's just a shell well, of a missile in, well you said they were as all we useless discussed in any as we discussed in one of our previous episodes of thought sauna a missile is anything that is projected yeah in this in this canon we all know what missile means though we all yeah, know. Yeah, and this is. and this we mean like a military grade's weapon. And yes, the missile is active, but I don't think it explodes from dropping out of a man's at, out of a man's out of a man's out of a man out of a man. I don't think it would explode out, from dropping out of a man's ass into the into the toilet. But what what does the audience think? All right, cool. Go if y'all aren't away. if yeah. y'all aren't gonna play along, you can just leave. We Y'all, you don't have to pursuit. just sit there and just watch. We want to see Bowling Pursuit. Shut up yeah, about really them. Crazy. They're not even coming out anymore. They're going to, no, they're going to come out eventually. I mean, they're going to come out. It's not like we're not going to have Bowling for Soup. Just chill out. Let us do our thing. Man, the audience is really going to put Brett's editing skills to the test trying to make sure they're not, like, overpowering us. Yeah, Brett's really going to have to, like, make sure, do some really hard editing to make sure this sounds like we're recording it in a house and that Sam is not even on location with us. Well, because that's what I'm going to try to do. I want it to sound like we're recording in a house and Sam is just in Denton. Yeah. We want it to sound yeah. like an authentic Thoughts on it episode. We, yeah. You don't want it to be yeah. weird for the viewers who weren't here live. Authenticity is he what we missile shitters seek to do. Oh, right. so you're one oh. of the people with the mutation? Sam, are you part it's of the X-Men? More of, I have this stuff. It's more of like my mutation is I have this stomach problem where sometimes when I eat ice cream... I have to go to the bathroom real bad. <laughs> and you know what? That would get in. <laughs> That's called lactose to the tolerance. I mean, yeah, that is just, just a common thing. It's not really even a mutation. Sam, it's 2018 and you're still lactose intolerant. I thought you were, what What happened to the tolerant left? <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> milk rights. <laughs> I fight for milk. I should probably get those pills that, like, you eat them before you have, like, ice cream or something. The thing is, it's like, I don't think I'm lactose intolerant because I can drink milk and ha be totally fine. See, I'm the reverse. I can eat things with milk in it, but, like, the second milk touches my lips in its purest form, I'm, like, vomiting. <laughs> the purest form? Yeah. Someone's like, this is the most pure milk extracted <laughs> directly from the udders of cows. And then the I take the chalice away. from the... <laughs> wizard's hand <laughs> with both of my hands because that's how big it is and i take a sip out of the diamond cup yeah and i'm like this was the best milk ever even if it does kill me and then i die like blood comes out of my face and i die yeah. and it's the ending of this you shakespearean you shit movie. a missile and die yeah <laughs> yeah that's the last thing that happens you have you gain that power god i love shakespeare I, but let's be honest if someone were to <laughs> shit out a full-sized <laughs> missile they would either A, die instantly, or man, they would never be the same again. I mean, if they died instantly, I'm sure they wouldn't be the same ever again. Okay, that's a good <laughs> point. But I mean, like, going forward, this person would have a strange stride to their walk. They, they would have a strange stride, not because there's something in there, just because of the emotions involved with that Is it action. a mutation that comes at birth? Would they be used to it? Does it grow with them? Like, as a baby, do they only have baby-sized missiles? Or, like, as a baby, Aww, can you, like, look at them and be like, missiles. oh, I see that there's a missile inside of that baby? I I think it, like, he fell into a vat of acid or something. He fell, he So he died? He accidentally bumped into a missile. <laughs> and then he just, and then he got it, like, at the ripe old age of 37. <laughs> 
Actually, he's 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 seventy eight years old. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> right about well, the time he'd be having pal problems. Well, anyways. yeah, everything will be nice and loosened up for him, so it should be easy by then. Ooh, he's had some years of experimentation, I see. Also, I've been trying to think of a name for this hero, and the best I can do is the shit soul. And I, <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> I wonder if your mom still listens to this podcast. Yeah, I Sam didn't. <laughs> Sam really seemed to enjoy. Sam didn't. Your mom's like comment about the podcast. <laughs> I didn't think that one would hit so hard, Sam. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think, I think we ruined Sam for the rest of the episode. I think we put him out of commission. He's gonna have to go to the hospital after this. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for oh, him man. to tell us his dream. <laughs> it's been a while since I've laughed that hard. I'm actually crying. <laughs> Let me just tell you, when I said that, Cyan just had like a blank stare <laughs> and like, like giggled a little, but out of courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> she did not find that nearly as enta- entertaining as you, as you and I did. I think that's a study in <laughs> contrast of people. <laughs> that oh my Sam God. reacted in this way and I reacted in a completely different way. <laughs> uh, okay, please, Sam. <sighs> unveil to us your <clears throat> dream. Oh. I don't think it can top Shitzel. <laughs> <laughs> I think we fucked up. Okay. Whoops. <clears throat> Crap. No, I'm not making that the title of the episode. <laughs> no, we already have Uber and <laughs> oh, damn. 21 Pilots and Going for Soup. Okay. We already have so much. Yeah. Cool. Who? So, it wasn't quite a dream that I had, but more of a nightmare. But, like, a really bizarre nightmare where I wasn't actually scared, but it was like my subconscious was, like, trying to be like, Ooh, fear me! And you were just not having any of it. Yeah, I was just kind of like... Honestly, part it did feel kind of like I had control, but at the same time, I feel like that was just my subconscious being like, here's a fake form of autonomy that you can have. <clears throat> uh... But anyways. So, I was at a mansion with... My cousin, my two cousins, Brennan and Mitch, my girlfriend, M, and then my friends, Chris and Melissa, who were getting married. So basically everyone and that they, isn't us. Krillissa. Cool. Thanks. I don't know why, but, uh, <laughs> so we're, like, going through the wedding procession, and I guess, like, I was convinced the mansion was haunted, but, like didn't have any evidence i just was like this place is straight up haunted but nothing happened (laughs) okay and so as like we're on the balcony at the for the actual wedding ceremony and so chris and melissa are saying their vows and all that and i i go over to the uh, the side of the um balcony that no one's on and there's just a random polaroid camera there oh so I take a picture of the... I was like, woo, a Polaroid. So I grab it, take a picture of the ceremony. Me too, in a haunted location. <laughs> Ooh, a camera. Yeah. Let me just take it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I take the picture and I take two more. And it prints out all those pictures, you know, like a Polaroid does. Yeah. But none of them are of what I took the picture of, because they were all just pictures of the procession going. Yeah. Or the ceremony or whatever. And so the first one, it prints out, and it's like an up-close personal picture of Chris's face. And I was like, that's weird, considering I'm all the way across the balcony from Chris. Mm. The second one prints out, and it's completely black. And then the third one prints out, and it's these, like, two extremely tormented faces that I don't recognize. Oh, my God. Not and I'm like, oh, that's weird. And so I pocket these three pictures and set the camera down and then go about the rest of the wedding. <laughs> <You'd>, <laughs> you know, as you like, do. Ah, that was weird. Ah, uh, whatever. It'll, and so then, on. like... 
we're going we're like we go through the wedding blah 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 some like chairs get moved on their own and whatnot but nothing but beyond that nothing abnormal happens and so then all of us go to bed and for some reason all of us are sleeping together in the same room like you know like a cabin or something sure <clears throat> like a camp cabin yeah like a little sleepover or something and for some reason brennan was convinced like there was uh, there was like some dictator that w- had died and was buried underneath the mansion or something. Yeah, but so I t- I talk I so I tell everyone about the pictures, and I show them the first one that was an up close and personal of Chris's face, and Melissa goes, "That's exactly my view I had during the ceremony because I was right there, you know, as bri- grooms and bride are right next to each other." Yeah. <clears throat> oh no! I'm it's like, huh? Weird. Right. Well, these are the other two, and so I pull out the other two, and <clears throat> they're like, huh? That's a weird black one. And then they look over at the one with the tormented souls, and it's a instead of showing two tormented souls, it now shows a screenshot from a fucking SpongeBob episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's the screenshot? What's the screenshot? <laughs> what screenshot, Sam? Tell me. It was from like. Describe it. It was from like the bubble episode where SpongeBob teaches Squidward the bubble dance and he does like the bring it around town. <laughs> oh. What? Oh my god. Sam. 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 Sam, listen to me. I thought you were on some next level horror story stuff. I, I thought know. we were gonna I was make, scared. I thought we were gonna make this a book. I was getting nervous. I was like, what do the souls mean? What is it gonna be? I was like scared of what you were gonna say. <laughs> oh my god. That's by the way, that was very one of the best horror stories I've ever heard. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like you told that as we were like sitting around a campfire. And you were like, and then I looked at the photos, and when I looked, it was Spongebob, and everyone's like, ah! And then they're like, Dad, you said Spongebob, that's not scary, you made a scream. And then you all laugh, and we make some worse. I, ha- I haven't told you the best part, though. Oh. What? There's more. Or, well, the second to best part. I picked up the Spongebob photo, and was like, this isn't what was there before. And as I picked it up, it changed back to the two tormented souls. Ah. But only but only I could see it. And then every time I tried to show it to them, whenever one of them would put their eyes up upon the photo, it would change to a different SpongeBob <laughs> screenshot. Why? <laughs> Why only when they so when you look at it, it's the souls, and when someone else looks at it, it suddenly turns into just a random like SpongeBob screenshot? Oh and it was God. it was here's the thing it was always SpongeBob pre the SpongeBob movie like with David Hasselhoff and all of that yeah it was always good it old vintage always... SpongeBob of course yeah it was course. vintage SpongeBob oh my God Damn. what how did is that how it ended yeah and then I woke up pissed because I couldn't show anyone the fucking picture oh my God <laughs> oh I would have loved to have that picture would you. Of the two tormented souls? Well, they're just Spongebob screenshots to me. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's just an unlimited supply of Spongebob screenshots. Yeah, you could just like look at it, look away, and then look back, and it's like a new one. You, yeah. you never know what it's going to be. <laughs> if I need a laugh, I just kind of like... I'm real, I'm real glad how invested you guys were in the story and how just like far back it threw you when I told well, you about the Spongebob. Well, yeah! A little. <laughs> I was like, I was like ready for it to like come. I was ready for the scary part. I was ready for it to be like, to, for it to be like them. Yeah, me you too. Know? Or something like that. Or like the black one was like, cause like the first one, Chris was like her vision. So the black one might've been like the vision of somebody who was like dead and buried beneath the whatever. And I'll, then, like, the souls were, like, someone in hell. I, I don't know. I was expecting I'll, something. I was ready for the blank one. Like, you show a light on it or you look at it at a certain angle and then, like, something shows up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, you hold it up or something and, like. And then the third one is a mirror. <sighs> like, like, it mirrors your face on it. You feel me? Oh, no. That would be sick. 
So if it mirrored their faces, they'd all just like SpongeBob? No. Well, That's, we're not talking. I mean, ta- I I mean was- <laughs> we're not. <laughs> you missed what we were saying. I was I trying. Think. I was trying to get back into the horror story. Yeah, we were trying to like <laughs> finish what the You're story could have been. Trying to get back been. into creepy. In a creepy. Yeah, we were trying to like write the rest of it. I guess. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's, it's okay. Man, Sam. Uh, I mean, obviously that could have, you know, some kind of metaphor into people just don't see the way things you see things and what other people think is funny you don't think is funny at all that kind of stuff you know that kind of subconscious <coughs> stuff but i like to think that you did just find this haunted not a really a haunted house but a haunted photo yeah that was haunted by the ghost <laughs> of someone who loved spongebob and died before season five so they only know the first four mm-hmm. seasons of SpongeBob, and that's the only thing they can put screen- screenshots of. Yeah. <laughs> Great. God dang it. <laughs> oh man, it looks like we're about to get kicked off the stage by Bowling for Soup, guys. Yeah. Hey, look, y'all. T- hey. All right. Look. Hey, we're taking. We're taking. Hey, you know what they say, you know, Brett? Science. Your podcast Sam. never ends. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know we went pat. We, I know we went ten minutes past the mark, but we're fin. We're wrapping it up, okay? We had technical difficulties. Twenty-one pilots were here. It was an event. We did this whole. Yeah, we got punched. We got punched. I got. We got punched and beat up by twenty-one pilots bowling for soup. Yeah, y'all can chill out, okay? I can't believe it's you, lead singer for Bowling for Soup. Bowling for Soup. It's me, Bowling for Soup. <laughs> yeah. It t- Hi, lead guitarist, Soup Bowling 4. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. So, Bowling for Soup, would you, would you like, want to be on our, do you want to be on our podcast? Yeah. <laughs> wow, amazing. Guys, look forward to next uh, episode. Oh, oh, oh. We're just gonna... That's all the time we have for. Stay tuned for Sweaty Boys and Things. Thank you all for coming out. On the next episode studio. of Thought Sauna. Will we be able <clears throat> on the next episode of Thoughts on it? Will we be able to conclude the exciting story of the SpongeBob picture? Probably will not. We, yeah. Probably we probably won't. We probably honestly won't think about it until like after the episode or something. Yeah. Will we be able to solve the mystery of what gives Twenty One Pilots their supernatural powers? They're good music. No. 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 Will elephants' <laughs> laws be parked? Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned next time in the thrilling saga of Thought Sauna. I will. Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Discord. (laughs) We have it all. (laughs) Come get sweaty with us. Us and Bowling Pursuit. All right. Enough. And...